Something strange is happening beneath our oceans. Huge chunks of it are literally being said that they are mysteriously upside down. This geological inversion is happening in the North Sea. And in the North Sea area is a huge shift that affects global geological situations on the tectonic plates. The question is, are we entering a global plate reorganization? Because these things that we're going to talk about here today, as we can see some of the earthquakes affecting all the different zones, we're going to be looking at the East Coast. We're also going to be looking at the Ring of Fire. As we've seen, warnings just hit South Carolina with dozens of earthquakes in one week and lots of actual seamount under watch. We're going to get to all that here in just a second. But let's jump into the big story here about the giant chunks under the seafloor. And let's let you see the researchers that went out there. And this is when they went out there. Um, but let's read a little bit what's happening here with data from sources, including huge ancient chunks of sand, rock samples, high resolution 3D imaging. They collected and investigated mounds and ridges of embedded in fine grain sediment up to several hundred meters high. We're talking deep under the ocean. And what happened is the researchers suggest that the sinkites formed due to earthquakes underground pressure. Uh, and they're saying that this happens over a long periods of time, but they just discovered it. These events could have liquefied the sand, making it sink via fractures in the seabed. This flow would have replaced deep ooze porous layers of sediment, large quantity of marine fossils. A situation here where this is the actual imaging of what they saw beneath the ocean started sinking down. Now, this is another story here that we need to talk about because this ties into the global geological shift, which they believe the plate reorganization based on the lithosphere, this starts to happen. So what I want to show you is some of the situation here with the lithosphere, and I'm show you what I'm talking about. So based on Britannica, lithosphere is Earth's rigid outermost shell comprising as but the crust and uppermost solid part of the mantle. It's been broken into tectonic plates uh, that more interactions happen through earthquakes. Earthquakes start to shift the surface and process and everything we see starts to reorganize basically due to this. Now, we're going to get into the situation here at hand because along the Pacific coast, uh, right here, you can see that actual seamount is still under watch for signs of major eruption. And just today, I tap into the live feed for you to see everybody off of the West Coast so we can look at what is happening here because the lithosphere underneath the actual seamount actually has an issue happening too. So the fact that these huge chunks on the seabed of the North Sea and the lithosphere also off the East Coast is showing us signs here that we potentially could be seeing a reorganization here. So check this out. I'll take you right here. You can see where the lithosphere is actually already having certain issues. You can see where the melt flow is happening. The lithosphere by far affects most of the regional changes that is already happening with our global boundaries and plates. This is going to be a process here that we're going to continue to watch here. And as you can see right here, the magma flows, you can see the lithosphere is right there. The magma source, the continental lithosphere, they're all right there in that same area. So this is going to be something we talk about the shift along the ring of fire. But this is really also in the Midwest. We already understand that the lithosphere and the Creighton is already starting to thin. And we can see how it's been dripping due to the Institute of Geophysics. A lot of these different shifts in our lithosphere has already begun. Uh, like we said, off West Coast, we show you a little bit more of the actual seamount just today. Just a little bit for that area. We're going to continue to look happening over time and get you all this information so you need to subscribe stick around but here's the bigger story here as this global 
shift starts to happen. Nature.com says that data analysis shows that global plate reorganization events can emerge from mantle lithosphere. Let's read a little bit more interactions. Unlike regional changes during these rare events, the entire plate network shifts to a new dynamic by formation and destruction of plate boundaries at global scale. Now, are we going to see that happen? Is the earthquakes we're seeing today already an interaction of that? Because that 7.5 that hit just last week was also something we talked about how it triggered a, a chain reaction along the ring of fire. We've seen multiple earthquakes and we were on high seismic activity. Friday, and now we're on a moderate level of seismic activity. Now, I want to move into the situation right now. You can see where earthquake preparedness programs are being offered to residents in California up to $3,000 grants with retrofit, uh, retrofit ideas. This is called the Earthquake Brace and Bolt Program, and you can see the California zip codes of 209 are available for grants. So you can see how the government themselves are trying to give out money for retrofits right now. So this really speaks volumes into the story at hand. And if we look around Nikai Tro, this is where Japan has a slip, zip, unrip that scientists in Texas went out and they did a survey with borehole drilling uh, equipment. And they're saying that 520,000 people would need to evacuate. Uh, and again, this is the military drills where they were doing the exercise and rescue operations. Uh, and here's the thing. 520,000 people is a lot of people. But if anything happens off the coast of Japan, you can expect along the ring of fire that travels along up to Alaska as well. And then there's something that people didn't know about Alaska that I figured out. Apparently, they got a slow slip that was happening over there. Uh, and this was one of the bigger reasons for what we've seen was a hundred foot tsunami, what they call it. They were saying they had like over a hundred foot tsunami. And we're trying to pull up information here on the backside, everything while we're bringing all this information up to you. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about, because I think this is very important for people uh, who are next to the area over there. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull it up right here on screen. So. Slab tearing along subducted oceanic plate joint beneath the Alaska Peninsula. Oh, no wonder we get 100 foot tsunamis. But basically what happened was the glacier started melting and there was no real warning sign. Nature.com put this out, by the way. But there was no no reports that was really widely spread saying, hey, you need to get out of that area because there was a slab being torn. Just like you can see right here, we'll get back into the story of Nikai Tro because this ties into the whole ring of fire coming all the way from Japan, the Asian coast, all the way over to America's coastlines. And uh, the North Sea is the one that's having the situation as we speak right now. And that area is next to the United Kingdom. But the large chunks on the seafloor is really speaking to a larger story here that is happening underneath all of us. So I'm going to talk about a little bit more of what they found. Researchers from Norway and UK have identified hundreds of sand bodies under the North Sea. Let's go back to the video clip here of the North Sea once again. And here's what's happening. They seem to have sunk deeper into the ocean's crust, swapping places with older layers which floated to the top of sand structures. The team claims that these aptly named sinkites represent the largest known stratigraphic inversions and could significantly impact carbon storage projects. And they were talking about basically how the carbon is stored under the oceans and that could definitely send everything into an unbalanced mode, just like the uh, whales not singing anymore seeing it sends the ocean temperatures into unbalance. The discovery reveals a geologic process that we haven't seen before on this scale. What we found are structures where dense sand has sunk into the lighter sediments that floated to the top of the sand effectively, flipping the convectional layers we'd expect to see and creating huge mounds beneath the sea. And so this was uh, University of Manchester said this in a university statement. Uh, and this is the North Sea area where they're, you can see the operations happening right now. 
And this is really one of the biggest stories right now to the tectonic geological shift, to the times that's coming, to the, uh, you know, dreams and stuff people are having here. Uh, all of the stuff we've been looking into over the last course of months and weeks and years is all coming down to this moment. Uh, but it's all about awareness in this moment. It's about really us having. there is some stream issues and i got a lot more coming when you subscribe but look at that next video don't let them don't let them make you miss this one don't let them let it hide from you because i talked about the massive 7.5 that struck a lot of seismic y'all have